don't miss our big Christmas blowout. Bergner's one-day sale this Saturday. Save up to 40% and more on last-minute gifts throughout the store. For one day only this Saturday. And then, bang, it's gone. Doors open at 8 a.m. at Bergner's. Billy Ray Cyrus plays in Peoria, and that's Stories Tonight. Well, that commercial obviously was out of Peoria. Um, anyway, welcome to uh, Cherryvale Mall Bergner's. Um, I'm going to be taking a, a tour of this store, but first let me give you some uh, history on this. This store was built in 1973 along with the rest of the mall. This, however, this store did not start off as a Bergner's. It started off as a Prangies. And then in 1992, um, it converted into a Yonkers when Yonkers uh, bought out uh, Prangies. And then at the end of 1996, Yonkers closed and uh, it was remodeled into the uh, current Bergner's that you see right here and opened in 1997. Now, in 2000, whenever I was working here, there was three Bergner's in the area. This was another Bergner's that was located at Colonial Village Mall. Um, now, Colonial Village Mall was built in 1962 at the corner of Alpine and Newburgh Road. Now, if you know Rockford, that this isn't very far from Cherry Vale Mall. In fact, if all the lights were green and everything, you could get here like in 10 minutes or under. And, th and this Bergner's um, obviously was very, very close to uh, the Cherry Vale Mall and managed to coexist for another seven years. Um, this did not start off as a Bergner's, however. Um, this started off as a YC store. And uh, this uh, Bergner's ended up closing in 2004. This acted as a second banana to a Cherry Vale Mall. Um, it acted more as like a Class B store. And, a, and a, the inside of it, when I went in there, uh, before it closed, it was it, it was very out of date, we'll just say. I mean, it, it, it looked like it just hadn't been remodeled in, like, since it opened. This is a McChesney Park Mall location. Actually, it's not called McChesney Park Mall anymore. Um, this one, this mall opened in 1978, along with uh, a J.C. Penney's that's at the other end of the mall, and then later on, Kohl's uh, went on to build in the uh, back of this mall. Um, this, this as well, did not start off as a Bergner store. This started off as a Prangies, just like a Cherry Vale Mall. And then in this in 1992, just like a Cherry Vale Mall, converted into a Yonkers, and then and then um, in 96, 97, it converted into a Bergner's. This Bergner's ended up closing early in 2017, leaving uh, only one Bergner's in the Rockford area, and that one being at Cherry Vale Mall. And finally, we have uh, the former Northtown Mall store, which is on uh, Riverside Boulevard. Now, this was built in 1956, and this did not start off as a Bergner's as well. It started off as Wisey's, uh, I'm pronouncing it correctly this time, Wisey's Department Store, which is was based in Rockford, and then in 1982, uh, Bergner's bought out Wisey's, as well as the Colonial Village one. Um, and obviously, as you can see now, this one turned into a uh, furniture store. And this Bergner's ended up, 
this Bergner's ended up moving um, to McChesney Park Mall. Okay, we are back at the Cherryvale Mall. Um, we're at the upper level of the uh, Bergner store. Um, I used to work in the uh, men's department, um, just like I did in Peru when I was working at that one down in Peru. Um, now, there was an issue in the middle of me recording this. Um, you'll hear like me talking and me muttering something. Now, I will explain that. Um, at the at the end of the uh, video whenever I come back and uh, wrap this up um, I wasn't very happy about it um, so I'm just gonna give my, uh, my my opinion on this whole thing so um we're just gonna take a walk through the store and then at the end I'll come back and wrap it up We'll just head downstairs now.
Okay, I need I do need to explain what happened in the store. Um, and this is it. and if you've already watched this video, this is this is going to be edited because I did make a critical error and it would have caused um some strife on YouTube. Um so um let me just tell you what happened here and then I'll just give you my opinion on everything that happened. Um so what happened was I was coming out of housewares and I was going to take toward the mall entrance on the upper level and I took a right to start heading toward the bedding and the uh, candles and all that and a quote unquote manager and I'll explain the quotes later uh, asked if he could help me and I said no I'm just looking right now and he said well um, you're, you're not allowed to be recording video in this store okay so, um, I understand that but in, in my opinion here, just just like other uh, YouTubers out there, um, and I'm inspired by these uh, guys here, um, the Aces Adventures, uh, Lost Apartments does videos. Um, he, uh, Lost Apartments does a lot of is doing a lot of the Bonton stores right now that are closing. Um, Dan Bell, uh, he he does great work too. Uh, and, and then there's others uh, I can't name offhand right now but what, what we're doing it's we're, our intentions are not bad when we're recording these stores here we're not going into fitting rooms and recording people changing and everything like that 
what we are doing is we're preserving history, uh, the, the history of a uh, chain or, or anything else that's going to be vanishing pretty soon. I mean, this Bergner's is going to be closing in the next uh, couple of months here. And there's going to be people that are going to like talk to their kids 20 years from now and they're going to have a tough time describing it. So that's what we're doing here is we're going inside of the store, showing showing people what it looks like right now before it changes uh, hands to somebody else. Um, as far as Bergner's goes, they were founded in uh, Peoria and then, uh, then they spread out to other cities and, and in Rockford and other cities in Illinois, especially Peoria, there is a loyal following of Bergner's customers, young and old. And uh, it's very sad to see an entire chain of, uh, a chain of uh, some supposedly high performing stores and I don't know how their, the Bonton stores are performing elsewhere, but it's very sad to see this, these stores closing and going out of business. And the judge out in uh, Delaware, she, it didn't seem like she had the heart to, uh, to sell these stores to uh, mall developers who would in turn maybe try to turn some of these stores around and maybe remodel and like re-merchandise or something. But no, she wanted to. She she's, she just instantly made twenty thousand jobs vanish, and she's sitting at home right now, in her big old mansion, doing whatever. Um, so so that that's very sad uh, that she that she uh, gave these stores to a liquidation firm. Um, as far as uh, the the quote unquote manager, I don't even think he's a manager. Of, uh, of this store. Um, uh, otherwise, a, manage, a manager of a store would be like dressed a little nicer. Um, I believe that he is a repre representative of the liquidation, one of the liquidation firms running these going out of business sales. And I've been to enough stores where I've seen these people. I've finished up a tour of the uh, Carson, Carson's in the Chicago area, and now I'm touring Bergner stores just for nostalgic sake. And uh, these liquidation firms, all they do is they take the uh, inventory, they buy the inventory, excuse me, mark it up to MSRP and then take percentages off of it. So in other words, you're not getting a good deal. Um, regular operating Bergners and Carson sales, their prices are lower. So um, that that's kind of my that's kind of my take on what happened uh, in the store. And as far as the uh, going out of business signs that are like all over like all over the property and everything, if I was if I was like um, the mayor of Cherry Valley, I would not allow people holding signs in front of the mall because it looks tacky. And uh, as and if I and across uh, Perryville Road, there's Rockford. If I was the mayor of Rockford too, I wouldn't allow it either. And if I was CBL, the manager of this mall, I would not allow any of these going out of business signs going up in my mall because it looks bad. Um, so I'm finished uh, giving my opinion. So I just want to thank thank you for uh, watching the uh, video. Um, of the uh, Cherry Vale Mall Bergners, um, it, it, it was a very high performing store. Um, I worked there back in 2000. I just remember seeing regular customers. So um, I do have more content coming. I do have the Northland Mall out of Sterling, um, which also contains the Bergners. I didn't do the, the videotape the Bergners, um, however. And I'm, I also still have the slideshow planned for later this summer of all the Bonton stores in Illinois, the facades and all that stuff. So uh, God bless you. Uh, have a good Memorial Day weekend and have a good summer.